Greetings, Peter, distinguished presenters and guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Valentino Sabuco, Executive Director of the Financial Awareness Foundation. Peter, today we have a special announcement to share with our colleagues and audience. Yes, Valentino, we do. At this time, it gives us great pleasure to announce to you our colleagues, associates, strategic partners, TFAF ambassadors, distinguished presenters and guests, ladies and gentlemen, the official launching of the Improving Financial Awareness and Financial Literacy Youth Movement. Thanks, Peter. This will become a major element of the Improving Financial Awareness and Literacy Movement worldwide which is active and growing now within four continents and over a dozen countries. The youth movement is so very much needed and it's very exciting. Today, over half the world's population is under age 30, but they have little or no say so in decisions that shape their future. It's time for young people to be better educated with the necessary life skills to lead enjoyable, successful, and meaningful lives. Improving financial awareness and financial literacy are a key element of those skills. It's time for our young people, like the female population, to be much more visible and heard in the halls of power. The public trusts young people, both male and female, to participate in decision-making, but they remain massively underrepresented in public life. That is right, Valentino. With the Improving Financial Awareness and Financial Literacy Youth Movement, our mission is to significantly enhance the quality of life of young people through better personal financial management. Our vision is a world where every young person is well-educated and has personal finance knowledge, access to the right financial advice, and the skills and tools to manage their finances. We are providing everyone the opportunity to achieve and maintain their financial stability, security, and freedom throughout their lives. We are giving everyone the ability to pass on their values, knowledge, and access to future generations to make their lives and this world a better place, ending inherited poverty for all. We see our initial key projects to be youth and money conferences and concerts, youth dialogue and town hall meetings, university associations and clubs, financial awareness and financial literacy, social media contests and challenges, business and entrepreneurial boot camps, incubators and accelerators. We see a greater youth and women representation and much more. Now, let's hear from some of our colleagues from around the world. Hello and welcome from Phoenix, Arizona in the United States. My name is Marie Burns. I'm a certified financial planner and an ambassador for the Financial Awareness Foundation. I help women with their money life through my planning practice and financial education for women businesses. Ladies especially, I want you to know that 90% of all women will eventually be solely in charge of their household finances. So money is an important tool in all of our lives, and I wholeheartedly support this financial literacy youth movement, and I'm so excited you've chosen to join us. Hello, my name is Pamela Chikore, all the way from Southern Africa. I'm a strong advocate for women and youth empowerment. There is no doubt that Africa is the richest continent in terms of natural resources. Its youthful population gives it a competitive advantage. However, the inability to marry these two aspects has resulted in Africa being undermined, its youths being disadvantaged, and its resources being exploited. Great news, there is a solution called financial literacy that will not only enable Africa's young people to create wealth, but will give them the skills and the tools they need to create sustainable wealth. You are the pioneers of this movement. Welcome on board. Namaste from India. My name is Shilpa and I am the founder and chief financial wellness coach at Nerdy Bird Financial Wellness. At Nerdy Bird, it is our vision to see women around the world finding their financial confidence. 
I am proud to be an ambassador at the Financial Awareness Foundation. I believe that money is a very important tool for you to accomplish all that is important to you in life. And therefore, it's important for you to have the right knowledge, a good plan in place, as well as action around your money. I'm proud to be supporting and advocating the financial awareness and financial literacy youth movement. And I welcome you to join us. Hello, my name is Henry Dia. I'm a research analyst and ambassador of the Financial Awareness Foundation. I believe financial literacy among the youth is a vital skill set that shapes their future in profound ways. Imagine a world where every young individual understands how to manage money wisely, avoid their pitfalls and invest for their dreams. Financial literacy isn't just about numbers, it's about empowerment. When young people grab the concept of budgeting, saving and making informed decisions, they unlock a world of possibilities. You know, they become equipped to navigate the complex landscape of personal finance, setting the stage for a life of economic stability and the ability to turn aspirations into reality. I support the Financial Literacy Youth Movement and I invite you to come on board. Hi, my name is Mimi Yana Niapia. I'm a financial advisor. I currently work as a team lead for the Education and Advisory Department of Access Pension Trust. I believe that every young person should become financially literate. And my reason being that the good book, the Bible, says that money answers all things. I believe to have a good quality life, money management is key. By learning early, you avoid certain money mistakes that could cost you a lot in the long run. You also take advantage of principles like compound interest that helps you to grow your money over time. I support the financial literacy youth movement and I encourage you to come on board. My name is Elijah. I'm an advocate for youth participation in leadership and inclusiveness in decision making. Financial literacy is very essential in debt management. Young people often face significant financial challenges, such as student loan and credit card debt. Financial literacy helps them understand the consequences of debt, the importance of responsible borrowing, and the strategies for managing and paying off debt effectively. On this background, I fully support the Financial Literacy Youth Movement and I invite everyone to come on board. Hello from Canada, my name is Genevieve Amevo. I am a Chartered Professional Accountant and also an advisor for the Centre for Financial Literacy Africa. We all know that Africa is the continent with the youngest population, having about 40% of its population 15 years and younger compared to the global average of 25%. As Africa develops, we cannot afford for these young people who will be the future leaders to grow without having the effective tools needed to manage their finances. It is for this reason why I am excited and I support the Financial Literacy Youth Movement and I am inviting you to join us. Hello, my name is Daniela Gostwanani and I'm the president of the Banking and Finance Youth Association of Central University. I believe financial literacy among the youth is important because it is the beginning of wealth creation and personal development. As a young person being in school, starting a career or starting any activity that will bring revenue in for you, you need to know how to manage your finances and financial literacy gives you just that. It is important for you to know how to save, how to invest and how to avoid by financial habits that will jeopardize your future. Any other decision in your life as a young person or as any other person for that matter is impacted by how you manage your finances, how much money you have, how you plan for your future for your retirement affects everything in your life and thereby affects your development as a person, personal development. And that is why I support the youth financial literacy movement and invite you to come on board. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ibrahim Yunus. I'm sending love from Ghana to everybody. Uh, well, I'm an expert in three fields, self-esteem, finance, and relationship. I believe that if you have a happy relationship and you are financially free and you have a good self-esteem, I think we'll build a very better world. So you need financial awareness, financial literacy to act right,
become right and do right. And if you're able to do that, you become financially free. Money, money is very important for the youth. If a youth is not able to satisfy the basic needs, some of them will become nuisance to the society. In order to prevent that, why, why not giving them good financial literacy? Once they have financial literacy, they'll make wise financial decisions. And if they're able to make wise financial decisions, they are going to become financially free. What a world where every youth is financially free. Then we can decide to do things. We have the free will. We have the freedom to live right. A lot of people are not living. They are slavery to money because they don't understand financial literacy. That is why I believe and support the financial literacy youth movement. And I encourage everybody to also... Hello do. everyone and welcome from the Mountain Kingdom of Lesotho. My name is Dibusen Titi. I am a life coach and a financial education instructor. I am the founder of Lesedi Financial Literacy Institute and the lead ambassador for Financial Awareness Foundation in Lesotho. Our intention is to educate every Mosotho and equip them with the necessary skills to reach their financial freedom. The intention we cannot accomplish without involvement of our youth and their young minds. A young mind is the biggest asset for economic growth and development. Equipping our youth with financial literacy competences and tools will enable them live a financially secure life in future. I fully support the financial literacy youth movement and welcome everybody on board, mostly Basotu youth. Hello. My name is Reina Fidelizola. I'm from Tanzania. I'm the CEO of Muka Tanzania and is the administrative officer for SOMI Foundation. Financial interest among youth is very important because it encourages youth into savings and investment. Through financial interest, youth get to learn how they can save their money for the future and they can invest their money wisely. They learn the benefit of compound interest and how they can make their money work for them over the future. I'm here to support the Financial Retrust Youth Movement and I welcome you on board to support Hello, the I'm called Joyce Wilfred. I'm Managing Director of a company called Upright Audit Firm here from Tanzania. And uh, you know, the knowledge of financial literacy, uh, you, what you know about, it always gives you power over it. So if you know about personal finance, if you know about uh, how to manage your personal finance, that means you gain power over your own finances. So it's very important for young people to know about their, about, uh, about their finance. And I'm number one supporter of financial literacy movement. I would like to welcome you on board. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing those powerful and exciting comments. Now let's join in and actively support and participate in the improving financial awareness and financial literacy youth movement. As we believe, young people have the greatest power to influence the needed social and economic change. Valentino, what do you think? Peter, you're absolutely right. If we're going to end the financial illiteracy epidemic, we need to provide our youth with the fundamental financial knowledge to make better and solid, lifelong informed financial decisions. We need to provide them with a systematic approach to manage their finances and a framework to craft their own personal financial estate and gift plan to serve as a roadmap for their enjoyable, successful, and meaningful lives. Through the youth movement, this can be fun, motivating, and an empowering learning, worldwide learning experience and serve as a needed catalyst for many needed social changes. We strongly believe having better personal finances changes your world and the world around you forever. Thank you. Awesome. Let's <laughs> go.